I grit my teeth and grasp my grimy glass, poised for what she's going to say, as she pulls forth the book from her primarily bag and asks, Have you read Fifty Shades of Grey? My eyes succumb to a narrow as she snaps into her sermon. You should! We read it and I can honestly say it will do your sex life so much good. I play Bruce Banner. Try to close out the Hulk, but I can feel him rise and burn. Clothing rips, green sinews tear, and in out but purple pants I say, Thanks for your concern. But I'm sick of Shades of Grey fans and this smug insinuation that if I'm not agog at this paper pile of tripe, I'm full of sexual frustration. And I wouldn't mind looking through it to laugh at sex lips, because that's funny. But what makes my intestines leap and lodge in my throat is you are giving this woman money! You are donating to the coffers of a church of worship with a kind of half assed hack bag that uses phrases like gossamer wings and he lay draped across me like a victory flag. Grow up and admit you're only reading it because a bit of bondage makes you hot. And don't give me that it's a modern love story shit, because excuse the euphemism, it's more whole than plot. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you found a guide to give your mattress some friction. But don't assume that I need sex tips from what started life as some poorly written Twilight fan fiction. Maybe I didn't realise that we're the kind of friends that share what give us the horn. In that case, my advice to you would be, go and Google some proper porn! And if you insist on reading this continued tirade of Barbara Cartland light, don't get that self-righteous smug look on your face and assume it gives you the right to tell me my inner goddess can never escape unless I bow to E.L. James's shrine. Save your sex life and your soul, donate just eight ninety nine. And I promise that when I've Googled my porn, or read a decent author's book or a play, I won't tell you it will do your life good and give you 50 shades of dismay. <laughs>